Welcome to Pickleball Night in America. We're on the road this week. It is Battle at the Beach, live from the Beach Boys in Fort Myers. Our event tonight is powered by Duper, the rating system we all love. Duper is a universal scale that is genderless and ageless, which means it can power unique events like Battle of the Sexes and Battle at the Beach, where selected men and women have very similar Duper ratings. Duper is built for the pickleball community. A forward-thinking, inclusive community deserves a rating to match. With Duper, all players, regardless of their age, gender, location, or skill, are rated on the same scale between 2.0 and 8.0. Thank you for joining us tonight and letting us invade your living room. We promise to bring you fun, high-octane pickleball, where players will be battling out for bragging rights, which will last at least until next week. Joining me in the booth tonight is none other than the infamous Adam Safari Stone. Hey, Adam, thanks for joining me. Happy to be here, Lee. Uh, super excited for this event at Beach Boys. And we have some fresh faces tonight. If you guys have been watching the Tuesday nights, a couple fresh players. Let's, let's, let's meet them right here. How about that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to get this night started? Bobby! 
Fantastic intros as always, Lee. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the format tonight. So we are going to be using, uh, obviously, as Lee said, a four-on-four four format from MLP, where we'll be starting with gender doubles. Uh, the women, obviously, will start first. We'll have the men, and then we'll have two mixed doubles matches. If we end 3-1 or 4-0 for one team, that is obviously the match. But if we get tied up at 2-all, we will be going to a duper breaker of singles. And let's just hope and pray that happens. So how the scoring works is we will be playing rally scoring. Every point counts, and we will be going up to 21. When a team gets to 20, it will be regular scoring. But the key here is once a team gets to 20, the other team still has rally scoring and can catch, catch up very quickly, which makes a lot of very tight, close matches. So. So our first matchup, we've got Jackie and Cassandra against Bobby and Karen. Jackie and Cassandra have a 44% chance of winning this match, according to Duper, whereas Bobby and Corinne have a 56% chance. And all this means in Duper is 56 times out of 100, Bobby and Corinne will win. 44 times out of 100, Jackie and Cassandra will win. We're definitely going to have some fun pickleball. The ladies are going to start it off. I think right now they're deciding whether they want to choose side, serve, or receive. Mm -hmm. And um, it's taking slightly longer than normal. Uh, I would say so. I would I'm say not so. sure if Larry's over there discussing feelings with they're, them they're, or what uh, they're, they're doing. They're, they're, but it seems like they're having a great time over there, though. There's lots of laughing. So <laughs> Absolutely. I'll have to admit, Lee, I'm a little bit biased in this match. I'll be, I'll be pulling for the prof, the smiling assassin. And uh, let's hope that uh, Duper's right and then she can take this down uh, at that 56% clip. Larry's quickly going over the rules with them. <laughs> All right. But we're looking forward to these to these lineups. You know, one of the things with uh, with Tuesday nights is we get to see matchups and lineups that we normally don't see. Oh, no, for sure, for sure. So like I said, so we have some fresh faces here. We have some partnerships that have never happened on both the gender and the mixed side. And that's why these events are cool, and we get a little different look than we, than we get at some, uh, some of the big tournaments. So uh, it's exciting, and here we go. Absolutely. In the spirit of fun, we're going to have great competition. And they're also great friends, and that I think will translate through tonight. Thanks oh. again for tuning us in, for tu for tuning in <laughs> and letting us invade your living room <laughs> or backyard. We're following online, so any comments, please give us some shout outs and some love. <laughs> time in! Leave it as zero, game time. zero!
Tight out. Uh, you will. Three, Three one. Good gets from uh, Karen and Bobby there. That ball comes back quite a Five, bit. Three. It's Cassandra looking for that Ernie. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Good look there for Cassandra. Great setup, slight miss. Uh -huh. She likes to sit on that back end, and she's got a very Six good one. Feet. I think we've all been on the receiving end of that back end once <laughs> or twice. Everybody's been girthy at a time or two. <laughs> <laughs> Great one-hander from Bobby there. You know, because pickleball is a relatively new sport, and we're all growing through these pickleball pro ranks together. Mm -hmm. All these nicknames, we know where they come from now. <laughs> been gurky, you've been deckled. Yes, everybody's been gurky and deckled, for sure. She hit me so hard in the chest one time, you know, it's just, it's just a rite of passage to get in the program. Eight, three. Bobby and Corinne have extended to a five-point lead, 8-3. Little miscommunication there. There's that backhand. Yeah, there's there's the patented Gurky punch there. And I believe that she's the only player on the court without a tennis background. Is that correct? That is correct. She will say she has a tennis background and that she wears tennis skirts. <laughs> but that's as far as it goes. <laughs> Good try. Corinne Carr with a nice patented inside out forehand, one of her favorite shots. Jackie couldn't quite dig it out. One of the things we'll find with rally scoring is most points are going to be won on the return of serve. Yeah, so Lee, I played this event a few weeks ago, and myself and Colin Johns played Deckel and DJ Young, and I think there was four points one on serve in an entire match to play one. Correct. I saw it just wide as well. <laughs> I won't repeat that. <laughs> It was slightly out. Yeah, we'll go. This is what Cassandra yes, called the yes, call. Yes, correct. Correct. Fantastic. You know, Bobby's always had a solid game, and she's been around for a while, but she really came to light last weekend in Camden. And she and Anna Bright just lit everybody up, and it's For so sure. fun to see. For sure. But, I mean, she's obviously not the tallest player, but she did a great job of really reaching into the kitchen and, and making that first attack really jam up. She did share that at night when she goes home, 
She's got a special machine that extends her arms. <laughs> I, just, I just, yeah, I just hang on a pull-up bar. It hasn't worked yet, but I still try it every night. Not sure what just happened there with Corinne. She walked off. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone seems to think it was funny, though. Yes. No idea what happened. I think she hit the game ball. Oh, Let's go with hit, that. Oh, sneaky. She's sneaky. you got to watch out for her. Oh, good eye. Tough to tough to hold off, especially Jack, on the white ones. Jack, you're trying to hit the spectators there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. It's a little bit of altitude there. Yeah, I Sailed think so. Sailed that ball. Yeah, we're, we're at about, about 5,000 in the building. Centimeters? <laughs> this is the Beach Boys. We're about, as, we're about as sea level as it gets right here. <laughs> In fact, we might be below sea level. <laughs> Fourteen five for Karen and Bobby, extending their lead. Nice. They're really, really bring in the pace here. I'm really impressed with Bobby. She's got a, she got a nice little one-handed backhand over there. A lot of the ladies these days are going two hands, so it's definitely nice to see. But I think right now between Bobby and Corinne, they're battling out for who's going to smile the biggest as we're pummeling you with that ball. I, I, think, I think Bobby might be in trouble on that one. <laughs> Great reset. Wow. 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 Fantastic. Way to turn a, li turn a little defense to offense there. Great. It looked like a Chet Subaru move. Yeah, it, it really did. If only it was left-handed, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Cassandra getting yeah. fired up there. Yeah. yeah, we'll just go with a little ambitious there. This worked so many times, though, you can't really falter for pulling that trigger. <laughs> Six seventeen. Watch how when Corinne is in this backhand dance rally, she will always come back to protect middle. Um, Great court coverage. Yeah. Nice point there. We have Steve Kuhn in the house tonight joining us at the Beach Boys. The man, the myth. The man that makes it all happen. Absolutely. Uh -oh. A little long. That's two for her now. We won't tell her we're keeping score. It is 19-6. <laughs> Then she dropped it right in the net. 819. 819. Jackie Cassandra serving. Oh. <laughs> Got her. He's like, no, we're gonna we're gonna tag you tonight. <laughs> That's how she rolls. Jackie is a twin. Her sister Jade is left handed. Jackie is the right handed one. Mind 
change there. So it is 29. Bobby and Corinne rally scoring stops for them. They have to win on serve. Ooh. And there it is. Corinne Shake. with the close. Shake and bake for match point. Gotta love it. Yeah, that was a pretty impressive performance by Bobby and Corinne there. I'm not sure, Bobby. I think she made one bad decision. I'm not sure she missed a ball besides for that. Absolutely. So, uh, fantastic yeah. job by them. Team Baywatch won. Team Beach Boys zero. That's correct. But we have quite a discrepancy in this next match with our duper ratings of 65% to 35% in favor of Team Beach Boys. Absolutely. But as we saw last week, anything can happen. Uh-huh. Ain't that the truth? And this is going to be a fun matchup. For sure. Just another beauty of the format. Close matches at the end more frequently. Who doesn't want to see it?
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Great matchup here. We got Kyle Yates and J.W. Johnson versus Andre Deescu and Ed and Lika. Uh, I don't believe Kyle and J.W. have played together before, and Andre and Eden are the Romanian Towers and play almost everything together. So this could be very interesting. We do have, like I mentioned, we do have that 65% favorite for J.W. and Kyle, but the two big men have a great rapport, and they really play well together, so we'll see if that gap gets tightened a little bit here in this match. And we do have one team that is slightly more unlovable than the other one, I would say. What, what was it? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I'd say Ed and Andre are slightly more unlovable. Not yes. unlovable, unlovable. Yes. That's, I, 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 would, I would probably put that lob in the back pocket for this match, I would, I, I would guess. Although you never know. These guys are sneaky, and they will <laughs> throw in a lob every once in a while. Yeah, especially Kyle. You're absolutely right. But I believe, I believe it's 6-6 six, six and 6-5. Six, so, uh, yeah, you might, you might want to make them bend low, not reach up. It's probably the best move. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the big men, they don't, and neither one of them really plays like a big man. They have really soft hands. They're really good from the midcourt. And they make a lot of their drops, so this should be really interesting. Listen to the fans. Let's go, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. JW shutting <laughs> that down quickly. No, sir. No, sir. We, I would look for the Kyle Eden cross court dink to be the main pattern in this match. Absolutely. Kyle's like, not today. Oh, the off pace got him. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some celebrities in the house tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got, so, uh, we got Jason and Jared from the kitchen over there. We also have dead body number three from Law & Order, Matt McNasty Manassi <laughs> from Battle of the Sexes fame. Oh, yes. Oh, don't, hey, Lee, don't forget about Mama and Papa Stone in the house, too. Mama Absolutely. and Papa Stone in the house. And the former Dos Equis most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Wow. I tell you what, JW really gets a lot of pop on that ball for such a short swing. Very impressive hands from the youngster and a fantastic V-neck as well. Absolutely. That V-neck is on point tonight. He got, he's got the taco meat out. The chest hair is poking out just a little <laughs> bit for the young man. 3-2, <laughs> Kyle and JW. Oh my, oh my. The guys are definitely putting on a show tonight. Ooh, wow. And around the post from Kyle. I, I tell you what, Lee, there's not a lot of room over there. That was an impressive shot with the little tight sideline there. Uh-oh, we obviously have some hometown fans in the house. Kyle is the local boy and the fan favorite. All four of these boys are Florida natives. Well, not yes. natives. They live in Florida Correct. now. It's a hometown. Correct. I believe Andre and Eden over on the Miami side. and Oh, and JW as well. And Kyle right here in Fort Myers, as we mentioned. Is that long reach? <laughs> oh, ab absolutely. There, he, had, he had no business hitting a quality shot off of that ball. And, you know, he, he, he made the move. He made the decision. He went for it. And he, he uh, J-Dub paid the price there. It is 4-5. J-W and Kyle. Nice spot there. 6-4.
Ooh. Ooh. I'll tell you what, that initial counter from JW was not bad. You got to give that some credit there with that one two combo. A little risky, but it paid off. Paid off. <laughs> Good getting, read by Andre. Andre getting big in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a nice read from him because Kyle has some good deception and he can go line or middle there. Uh, looked like Andre was sitting middle the whole time and he let it fly. We're tied up at six. There he is again. There you go, Looking making his move. That middle. Making his move. It's it's a lot of pressure. Andre's about 6'5". Dive. Nice point there. Andre is surprisingly quick for a tall guy. Absolutely. And Absolutely. and low. He can get low. He's agile. Uh, he, he doesn't play as much as some of the other pros, but he is a great talent. Oh. That's a nice steal in the middle there from Eden. Uh, extremely well disguised. It's so hard to tell when he's going to pull that trigger line middle or just dink back cross court. It is 10-6 for <laughs> Baywatch. Nice, nice. 10-7. Yeah, we'll see here. We'll see it. J-Dub's kind of been hanging out on his own side. If this score gets a little more out of hand, we'll see if he starts taking a little more court. Nicole Hobson is watching tonight. Hey, Nicole, how's it going? Ask me the most random question. Did I know Eden's shoe size? <laughs> I'm going to go with large. Bigger than mine. Great grind here from the fellas. Woo! My goodness gracious. Feeling. That's a lot of length. I mean, that was, that was a fantastic grind. No one had any opportunity to do anything. And here comes 6'5", Andre reaching in the middle for a fantastic forehand roll about three inches inside the baseline. As you can see, the big guys, they really have established roles. Eden is a little bit more of the solid supporting right side player, and you can see Andre looking for opportunities to be aggressive whenever he can. Absolutely, Team uh, Baywatcher up 11 at the turn. JW's like, not today, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and smiles as he does uh -huh. it. Pick Eden's, the longer this partnership carries on between Andre and Eden, Eden's worked really hard on his game and establishing that setter up role. For sure. I'll letting tell. Andre be the more of the aggressor, the attacker. There it is. Wow. Wow. No! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. What a point, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. These Fantastic guys have one job play. to do tonight, and that is to entertain, and they are doing it.
Another great read from Andre in the middle there. You know, one of the things, I think you do the same thing when we're telling our students, if you're going to pop it up, don't be afraid to pop it up over someone's backhand. <laughs> sure, sure. I, I just looked at Eden's one-handed backhand <laughs> up high <laughs> and <laughs> slightly afraid of it. Maybe not. 14-8. <laughs> 14 Andre and Eden are up. Just missed it. I think Opportunity it. There. No, I absolutely. I totally agree with you. I think that was the right decision to go line there. J Dub was sitting hard forehand. He just pushed it a little long. <laughs> that net got in the way of Kyle's punch yeah, back in. Kind of, I kind of feel like Kyle was on that one. So I, th I think the big boys were a little fortunate there. 15 9. looking for some opportunity on the court. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what, he's, he's playing great so far. 15-9, he does not, 16-9, sorry. And he does not want to let opponents get into a rhythm. Uh, nice little old flip, flip of the wrist there. Great top spin created by JW. See if they can make a run here. Let's see. I think, it, I think it's time. I, I, think, it's time. I think they will. They're, they're starting to feel it. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the, uh, the match, these big guys, they really have great touch from the midcourt, and they seem to almost always get to the kitchen line. Very frustrating, to be honest. Ooh, right on cue. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> you know, announcer, it's announcer curse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are lucky to have venues like this where we can take the production on the road and when all players are in Naples for the U.S. Open. It's uh, easy to get players in town. With Dan from the Beach Boys providing his facility for the night. It's dropping. Oh, he just missed it. He just missed it. Yes, I mean, I'll tell you right now, this is... 100% tournament intensity this match right here. So uh, great to watch for the spectators and for us right here in the booth. 18-12 for Baywatch. Thirteen for Baywatch. pace there. I think if he hit it hard, he would have been in trouble. So that was a great job by him taking a little pace off the ball. Nice. There we go. 
Just like I mentioned, I think right at the beginning of the match, A.W. wouldn't have gone for that one. I'm glad he inserted himself in the middle there. You saw Andre leaning a little bit to his left. Oh, sneaky little trigger there. I think we all thought he was going to dink it. Caught Kyle up high by the shoulders. Real tough to defend that ball. Great shot. Yeah, Andre was ready for a couple of those in the middle. Great adjustment by Kyle going long there. Ooh. That was a little too low for that attack. I think a reset might have been worked better for Kyle. And for sure. But the one before that was so nice. It was really <laughs> nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a little, little something to in here. Steve Kuhn correcting the refs. Steve's everywhere and nowhere. I love the guy. Andre and Eden, now he's scoring his stop for them. Oh, he just missed. Nice exchange by the fellows there. Great partner communication. Uh, ball was only three inches out. Andre yelled. Nobody's touching that one. Putting pressure on her teammates there. <laughs> JW's gonna look to do something here. Just Kyle and J-Dub just getting on the same page just a hair late after getting to a bit of a deficit. It seems like they got a little more comfortable uh, with how much court they were taking a little late. All right. What's Sanders happening over here? I don't know. They're getting the crowd riled up. <laughs> They're getting fired up. All right. We're going to go to a quick commercial break, and we're going to have our mixed lineups coming up shortly. Stay tuned. Again, thanks for staying with us tonight.
All righty, welcome back to Pickleball Night in America, powered by Duper. We are live at the Beach Boys facility in Fort Myers, Florida. I am joined in the booth by none other than Adam Safari Stone. Hello. How's it going tonight, Adam? Oh, it's going great. The vibe is the vibe is great. The facility is great. The players are great. What's not to love? So uh, we have our first mixed doubles matchup coming up next, match number three. We have J.W. Johnson and Cassandra Gerke as a 62% favorite over Eden Lika and Corinne Carr. Now, Team Baywatch are up 2-0. Team Beach Boys are looking to even the score, so they need this match. No, they, if they, they don't, need it. If they lose this match, it is all over. We do, we do not get a duper breaker. I not want one. I want one back. So I believe uh, that Team Beach Boys was the favorite going into this, so we got a little upset ruin here, huh? Absolutely, but we all want to see a Dream Breaker, so... Oh, Duper Breaker, Dream Breaker. I was saying the wrong thing. That's okay. Either or, whatever, they both work, I feel like. Steve Kuhn coined the term Dream Breaker. Yeah. It is his brainchild. Well, if that's his brainchild, then I'm wrong. <laughs> Steve Kuhn is an incredible visionary and sees so much potential for the game of football and has come up with some fun formats, leagues for players, pro and amateurs alike. And I think we're all lucky to be there is passengers on this train. There's no question about that, Lee. That's absolutely the case. Uh, I've known him for uh, four something years now and just seems like a great guy, loves the sport and uh, spends a lot of his time and resources to grow the sport and just like you said we gotta love him for it absolutely so we'll see in this matchup here uh kind of interesting so i i know that edin doesn't often play mixed doubles he usually just plays men's with andre so we'll kind of we'll kind of check him out and see how it looks uh, i would imagine that uh uh, Cassandra will be hanging out very much over in her corner uh, with in that. Ernie Alley? In Ernie Alley. That is absolutely correct. So you've been known to hang out over there a time or two. Uh, she, she does it legally, I am. <laughs> the Ernie Alley, yes. But, uh, yeah, see if she can step off a little bit there, be ready for the counterattacks, and let J-Dub do his thing in the middle. We'll see how it goes. And, you know, J-W has grown as a player and being more imposing on the court, being more aggressive on the court, definitely in this doubles, he's not, no longer gun shy or a little hesitant to take over. He definitely we, inserts himself I, in the point. I agree completely. Uh, he's made a big progression in the last six or nine months or so. Uh, yeah, and we, we need to get him aggressive in life. What do you think about that? Off-court aggression? Does he have much of that, Lee? I, I, I mean, I definitely don't want him picking fights in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I, I think you know, he has this low-key vibe to him, which right. I love. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, he's got lightning-fast hands that sure. are incredibly soft as well. Right. And his, the movement is so compact, it generates so much power and pace. Right. right. No, I, I agree completely. I think there might be a couple players that have more power in their hands. Maybe there's a couple players that have faster hands, but no one has that combination of short stroke, power, and quick hands that J-Dub has right now, so you got to give the kids some credit. And he, and he does it in such a nonchalant way of like, yeah, no biggie. Yeah, I'm just, a, do you want a hands battle? Okay. It's a, it's a quiet confidence. Absolutely. Yes, it's a quiet and confidence. It. And I think his confidence, I, we're just going to see his confidence grow for the rest of the year. And it's, it's going to be a thing of beauty to watch to see where... For sure. Where his game's gonna go. No, I, I agree completely. You, you just, you never, you never know when someone's gonna plateau or when someone's just gonna take off. And I got a feeling J-Dub is just getting it started with the takeoff. And we all get a front row seat to this ride, <laughs> so hey. For sure, for sure. And then, uh, you know, Corinne's playing mixed with Eden, and uh, I think he's the largest mixed doubles partner she's played with, perhaps. Uh, that is for sure. He's, uh, I don't know. I just, I just like looking at, looking at Edmund. He's almost like a cartoon. I mean, he's almost like a caricature. Look at this guy. He's huge, big muscles, beautiful hair, do, and soft hands. I mean, what's not to like? It's just good for the fans. 
I think he's also the model. <laughs> if, if he isn't now, he wants more. That's for sure. That's for sure. So, yes, I believe both of these partnerships are a first-time affair. So, uh, we'll see if uh, there's a little little confusion or a little issue with middle balls early on because rally scoring format, that quick start is very important. And a thing can happen. And uh, buckle up. We're getting started. Corinne will be serving first. I lied. Cassandra will be serving first. Well, you, had a, you had a 50-50 shot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry Scott, the, the head referee, asking me if we're good to go, and that is the wrong person to ask. I just gave him the green light, so we're going. Okay. We Buckle up, eight. ladies and gentlemen. Not many people can make a pickleball paddle look like a ping pong paddle. <laughs> <laughs> and pulls it off. Yes. <laughs> Cassandra's <laughs> ready, so... We are in a packed house tonight at the Beach Boys here at Fort Myers. Game on, 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, baby. That lob would have worked against a lot of people, just <laughs> not other. Right. It's me. Slight confusion with the rally scoring. 1-0. <laughs> Cassandra's definitely going to encourage JW to come over and take middle. Uh-huh. I would... I would do that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> I like the move. It was a nice little roller third shot at the feet. She went for the Ernie. Big man had the, had the response, though. Great hands. Two, one. Three one, Corinne and Eden. Three one. Ooh, we almost came down. Missed it by about six inches, though. Want to give a nice little shout out to my sponsor and the Beach Boy sponsor, Paddle Tech. Great paddles, great apparel. Check them out. But your bigger sponsors are in the house tonight. Uh -huh. That's right. Mom and Dad. Yes. We don't even. Ooh, I don't even want to thank. <laughs> the number that they've sponsored me with. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beauty of parents. They're the gift they keep on giving. That's right. A lot, of, a lot of tennis lessons and a nice little surf and turf last night. Thank you, Mama and Papa Stone. that down with her back and uh -huh. like, oh, excuse me, it's my forehand. No, for sure. Like we mentioned earlier, she really likes that that backhand counter uh, uh, when it, when they hit it at her body really tough with the backhand counter, but one of the best in the women's game. J-Dub there in the middle to clean it up. Four, three. Four, three, Cassandra and J-Dub. Yeah, I, I, I think she was definitely on that. She thanked Ed for putting it on her paddle. Uh-huh. Sometimes you do everything right and just miss it. That's the beauty of pickleball, isn't it? <laughs> off the post. I think trying the around the post there, falling yeah. short. That net post getting in the way. So yeah. rude. Like I said, we're a little tight on the side of the court. She didn't quite have enough room to let that ball travel a little further. Oh, nice. Oh, 
smiles as she does that. Light them up, Prof. <laughs> I had to get one of those in there. Five, five. Chet Subaru would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Big man coming all the way over and felt like he needed to do something with it and J Dub J Dub said no no. Six five JW and Cassandra. Oh, she's coming to the booth. I'm so sorry. You did not stay in the kitchen. That was illegal earning. Yeah. Clean. Clean. <laughs> oh, nice shot by Dub. He's like, yeah, no biggie. Yeah, oh, for sure. And the thing is, even though Cassandra doesn't always get the Ernie, when she threatens it, it forces the players to hit the ball to J-Dub more, and that's probably a good situation for them. It gives the illusion that that middle of the court is open. Sure. Oh. Oh. I'm trying to thread the needle there. The rare slice attack. I don't see many players trying that, except for Lee Whitwell occasionally. <laughs> I learned it from you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Team Beach Boys with a slight lead. 10-5. Nice spot there. You know, mixed doubles, it's, we'll see that quite a bit. The, the guy tends to sit bigger in the middle. So the oh, it's vulnerable. Absolutely. It's just, if you can get your frequencies right, how often you do it, it's very hard to get it perfect. And JW, you know, and Corinne's going to keep JW on. Sure, you got it. You, you, you have to. And you just don't want to quite do it too much. So, uh, yeah, you saw, I just saw the replay up on the big screen. And, J-Dub was sitting hard middle with that forehand, and you just you got to put it behind him occasionally, otherwise he's just going to clean your clock. But it is a gutsy move. It is, it is. It's <laughs> sometimes it, J-W reads yeah. you're eating it. Yeah, sometimes it really blows up in your face, but uh, she caught him that time. Nice shot. Hey, on the net, it says YOLO, you only live once, so <laughs> sometimes attack down the line. Seven Eleven, Slurpees for everyone. <laughs> That's fantastic, though. We have ATP, ATP defense, exchanges, Cassandra on the ground. What a point, guys. Awesome stuff. Just enough to catch her in the body a little bit on her forehand yeah. side. And then he blows her kiss and apologizes. Cassandra. <laughs> 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 
Always a fan favorite. Good stuff. 12 10 for the Beach Boys. Nice job by Eden. Going with the little controlled initial attack to get the pop up and then finishing strong up the middle. 11 12. think about it. If somebody told you 10 years ago that you were going to play with a piece of pie and had a plastic ball over the net, <laughs> what would you have said that that was? Uh, I, I probably just would have laughed in the face. I mean, I don't know what else I could have done. <laughs> here we are playing a sport that gives, brings everybody joy. so much fun. And here we are. <laughs> and sorry. <laughs> yeah, and sorry. Yeah, and sorry, she says. <laughs> 14 12. 14 12 for the Beach Boys. <laughs> JW Ableton shook himself at that point. Uh huh. I like when I have to do just uh, to prove a point there, you don't have to hit an amazing initial attack if you have those fast hands on the pin. Same guy. Same guy. <laughs> yeah, he was just previous point. He was just starting that fire and said, good luck beating me in a hands back. of you unfamiliar with Deeper, it is a phenomenal rating system that relies solely on your ability to play the game. Oh, oh, oh. Nice firefight there. Just a little too much pace from the prof there. Sandra was in that backhand position, but a little too much. Nice. Meeples. <laughs> Meeples. Nice little shake and bake there. <laughs> I've never had a knee fault. Plenty of foot fault. Knee faults for me. 15 16. 15 16. These boys are up by one. Crossword dink from Karen and miss. Yeah, it happens. 17-15. Beach boys are up by two. Just missing. Yeah, it's tough sometimes on that backhand spot. Backhand side, you get a little bit of that side spin, makes it really tough to execute. 18 15. Oh, a little adventurous on that yeah, one. She, I think she was trying to body up a big man again. She, 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 I think she wanted me to blow her a kiss again. I think that's what it was. <laughs> 17-18 now. For sure. Another pretty decent counter from, from Cassandra. Just Evans all over that next ball. Ooh, that was a little loose from the dub. A little loose from old dub there. We're tied up at 18. Good 
just shock that one up for she went for it. 19-18 for Baywatch. They are up 2-0 right now. So Beach Boys have to win this match. 19-19. Right up at 19. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> Great, uh, I mean, obviously great shot by JW, but I think the Sandra Gerke setup was even better. Absolutely. That drop set everything up. I thought she caught him again. Oh, man. We are tied up at 20. That little kiss off the tape just messes everything up, doesn't it? Players have to win by two on score, and on serve now, rally scoring has ended. How did that man get so low? Oh, she missed it just wide. <laughs> and here we go, Lee. Match point, 21-20. <laughs> Cassandra asking Evan if she scared him. And Evan confirming, yes, she did. <laughs> I, th I think he's shaking slightly. He's not recovered. 2021, we are on serve. Players have to win this on serve. Rally scoring has ended. She was all over that. I believe that we have some slight blood on Cassandra Gerke's knee. She has, she's pulling a Rob Cassidy. She's right got now. I was about to say, she has some Rob Cassidy knees going on right now. up the match. Right now, Baywatch have won 3-0, but we are going to play this final match because, hey, who doesn't want to see more great pickleball? Players are going to take the court and warm up.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pickleball Night in America, powered by Duper. We are live from the Beach Boys in Fort Myers, Florida, for our Battle of the Beach, or at the beach, rather. It's Team Baywatch versus Team Beach Boys. I am joined in the booth by none other than Adam Stone, and we're just having a fun night hanging out, watching some great pickleball. Absolutely. The vibe is good, like I've mentioned before, and we are down to our last match. We have Kyle Yates and Jackie Kawamoto versus Andre Deescu and Bobby Oshiro. Oh, Shiro. 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 There we go. So we have a 48% chance for Kyle Yates and Jackie Kawamoto to win, according to Duper, and a 52% for Andre and Bobby. Let's see what happens. Tight matchup. Almost 50-50. You know, after that fun fact about uh, Jackie, I think we should just change your name to Believer. <laughs> she is a Believer. Oh, what a dig. <laughs> oh, he just missed it. With the right wind? Yes, with That's the right it. wind. That's right. He talked to it. He tried to give it the old umph, but just didn't quite get there. It's so annoying when the ball does not respond the way you yeah, want it Yeah, it's very... I, I, I don't get it either. We got the old... Oh, Jackie. <laughs> you don't see that too much out of either Kawamoto. Two of the most solid players on tour. Yes. So, fun fact, we have the shortest player of the night teaming up with the tallest player of the night tonight, Bobby uh -huh. and Andre. Uh-huh. 3-0 for Dream... Oh, for Dreamland. For, um... <laughs> Baywatch. Team Baywatch. But I'll tell you what, Lee, I have not had a lot of experience watching or playing with Bobby, but she's playing great. I haven't... Sure. She's impressive. Yes. She's uh, solid and I think finding her confidence on the court is allowing her to take more risks, be more solid, and be a threat on the court. Sure, and I believe you mentioned it earlier, coming fresh off a win in women's doubles in Camden, South Carolina, APP. So maybe that'll just springboard her to just continue to improve. 2-4. Beach Boys are on the board. This is a dead match. Baywatch have won 3-0 against Beach Boys. Ah. But they're not playing like it's a dead match. <laughs> they're playing for bragging rights. Yeah, this is... Nothing looks dead to me. Yes, and tonight, Lee, just like Duper, every point counts. So these players are playing for a cash prize, and every single point, every single match counts. And we're seeing that tonight with great effort from everyone. Absolute tournament intensity, just like I mentioned earlier. And just like you said, with Duper, every point counts. Winning a match 11-1, 11-2. Wow. Be very different than winning a match 11 9 or 12 10. It all matters, as Every, it should. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Caught, caught uh, Bobby there trying to take that out of the air, couldn't quite get it, and was a little late on the recovery off that off the bounce. I think Dan has built the ultimate man cave here at Beach Boys. <laughs> I'm rather jealous of it. <laughs> Ladies, take a seat. These guys are going to go on all day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a shot. Nice combo. 
She caught Andre leading a little bit to the middle and just finished him off up the line. Beauty. Jackie and Kyle, as are you, Team Kyle Tech members. Oh, yes. I felt he went to bed an hour early there. <laughs> it worked out. He himself. He's like, well, I might as yes, well stay. It worked out. Like you said, Beach Boys, a great man cave. I've had, I've had shrimp cocktail, a sandwich, an espresso, and a Corona since I've been here. I mean, come on. And watch great pickleball. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Bobby sent that ball flying. I tried. I tried. <laughs> For sure. She can hit it. Six, seven. It's amazing. Oh, she loves a tall guy. That is a brave move. Oh, man, it was perfectly timed as Andre was going for the Ernie. She just pushed it long. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. It is a little bit more rewarding to love a tall guy. Absolutely, but I felt the whole crowd collectively hold their breath yes. as she did that. <laughs> Ooh, just missed it. So tonight, each player is guaranteed $1,000. Mm -hmm. They're going to get paid $250 for every match that they win. And the winning team will win an extra $500. So total money the team can, a player can win is $2,000 tonight. Mm -hmm. Least amount of money is $1,000. Not bad for a day's work, eh? A couple of hours work, entertaining. Uh-huh. Where can I get me a gig like that? Oh, <laughs> fantastic cross court dink there by Jackie Kawamoto. Nine, nine. Cassandra would have dove for that ball. Yeah, of course she would have. She still has one, she still has one knee without blood on it. Rob Cassidy's so disappointed right now. <laughs> Bobby gets so low on these things, she disappears below the net. I did not think that was possible. <laughs> nice. Great point. Brewing here. Oh, <laughs> yes, so fantastic point there. And I'll, I'll give Bobby a little credit too because I'm a little I'm a little vertically challenged as well. And for how many dinks she's taking out of the air, that's pretty impressive. One of the uh, things sometimes that doesn't translate to TV sometimes <laughs> is the dinking part of the game. And it looks very basic, but the way these players are able to move the ball around and set up offense is impressive. Absolutely. And like I mentioned earlier with the Cassandra Gurky setup, sometimes the setup and the soft shots to get that put away are much more difficult than the actual put away. So uh, I absolutely agree with you. And uh, every, every type of shot, hard or soft, serves a purpose in pickleball. Absolutely. The put away is sometimes the reward of building that point, right? Exactly. Yes, some, sometimes that reward is on the second shot. Sometimes that reward is on the 30th shot, so. Rarely is it on the first. <laughs> <laughs> Rarely is it on the first. Oh, that's in there. That's in there. She who, who hit it harder? <laughs> Lee, who hit it harder? Uh, I, I think Jackie did. Okay, fair I, enough. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> fair enough. 12-10. It is 12-10 for Beach Boys. 
<laughs> Bobby trying to push Kyle all the way back into the wall, almost succeeding, <laughs> just going along. 13-10. <laughs> 14 10, they're extending their lead to four. Mm -hmm. Rally scoring? That's about one. <laughs> <laughs> nice little pump fake there from Kyle. Oh, we got Share Bear in the house over here. Hey, Share Bear. <laughs> 16, 10. 16 10 for Beach Boys. impressive hop serve from Bobby. For sure. Uh, I, I just would have gone back and dropped it in the <laughs> kitchen. That was impressive for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you lobbed the wrong person. They almost had him. No, 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 they didn't. Chris, Christmas come early. A little gift there from Andre. He is a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kyle did mention he had a birthday coming up. <laughs> yes. Old clip off the table right into the shoulder. right person that's tr that's but true. she read in like a first page of a children's book but i just i just love it when they love love the short player and they make them pay for it exactly. it's my favorite 12 19 for beach boys In your grandma's pickleball. No, that was fantastic. Several digs in the midcourt got back to dinking and then a well timed speed up from Jackie. No. <laughs> there it is, game set match, ladies fantastic. and gentlemen. That was some fantastic pickleball. Love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Well, Beach Boys ended up with that win. Final count, Baywatch three, Beach Boys one. Oh, Share Bear! Share Bear's in the house. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. No, I'm okay. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen. I, said, I just said, Share Bear's got a fresh haircut and a Heineken. You better watch out. Uh, you know? Fresh haircut and a Heineken. The party bus is lined up somewhere. Let's go. It's always great to see him. <laughs>